Hello everyone, this is Bigowski. And JTB. And this is Ninja Gaiden 2004, the very last chapter. Chapter 16, very hard commentary walkthrough with my good buddy JTB. We had the hearts floating across the screen because we're happy this is over. And now, we love all you guys. Well, yeah, yeah, that too. That's probably the main one. <laughs> so I showed this. Uh, I mean, I really could have not shown this, but anyway. I just don't have the movement that these guys do. I, use, you know, kind of rotate the camera and use my trigger as my movement versus how y'all kind of use the directional pad and then jump. Mm -hmm. You know, y'all are so good at this. And so whenever I pick the little dark dragon, but I have to look to find that spot and then I have to look here because I'll catch that little edge and it'll kind of run me up and then flip me back down. I always find the worst possible uh, spots. But as long as you make it up here or maybe even close to this before the cutscene, you'll be fine. Oh yeah, yeah you will. I think um, for what it's worth, I think uh, I don't think the cutscene can actually interrupt you doing that shimmy animation. So sometimes if you, you can get up there super fast and you can actually like get past the trigger for the cutscene, if you get up there in perfect timing, you can actually climb up and do one roll jump before the cutscene triggers. Whereas if you oh. do it like just a second on it, you'll they'll let you do the whole shimmy and climb up before the cutscene happens. Oh. Yeah. Well see that's you because you're good at it. That's not me. <laughs> I actually failed it a couple times. That's so bad. That's the reason the long delay is I filmed it. But here I wanted to show what you could do that you can't do in Ninja Gaiden Black. I know it's cheesy, but just kind of like how it showed on Dynamo and the Bone Dragon in Chapter 6, you know, killing them with the windmill shirt. It, you can just flying swallow back and forth and kill Mariah. It's, it's such a joke. Yeah, it is, but they kind of go the other way in black, don't they? In black, right. it's kind of bullshit. <laughs> like, but the normal way I do the low health is kind of roll forward him, forward Y, Nympho, forward Y, Nympho, forward Y, replace your Nympho, and he's pretty much dead. So that's yeah. the, the very easy way of I mean, that doesn't through. take that long. You still get a decent kill bonus. Yeah, but I'm, you'll see how many points it yeah. cost me compared to you when we get to that. So... Again, overall, I mean, for, for, it really wasn't that bad of a score. You know, I mean, I, obviously I could have done better on certain chapters, but 17 yeah. million. Now, of course, I don't know how that would have got me uploaded back in the day. But, you know, still, I, I, was, I was real happy with doing that. And it was a lot of fun to play it again. I really enjoyed it. So we got a good commentary run out on this explaining the, the game the differences showing the differences but one of the things that I wanted to do that we haven't ever done before is kind of do a chapter by chapter comparison of what JTB did on his successive play karma run versus mm -hmm. what I did on just going through the game trying to make the time limits as much as possible and you'll see the big difference in points so this is chapter one, what he did, and you can look. I mean, he killed 60 enemies more than I did in just 20 more seconds and scored 22,536 more points. I mean, that's what speed and accuracy, I guess, if you want to call it, you know, knowing what to do, where to jump, when to do it. I mean, look at that big of a difference. I, I never would have imagined it would have been that big. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, looking at it there, like, I'm, yeah, like 60, like 60 enemies. Like, I, I didn't think I'd killed that many in that chapter, to be honest. Well, you know, when I was going through this, I wasn't going through it as a mind of a, you know, karma. So I might have went and, you know, saved a couple more times than what you did because your mindset was on playing it for karma. Mine was yeah. just focusing on essence at the very beginning and focusing on time. So I might have had to UT more versus uh you know you maybe just et and through so now we're going to chapter two again same we're gonna have the same amount of enemies it took me a minute longer a minute and 30 seconds longer the main difference on the points is i didn't get an essence bonus yeah. so again all of a sudden that 1000 you know 1400 points now it's 11,400 points so i always 
thought, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but when you kind of look at it simplistically like that, it's like, wow, yeah, I mean, that's 10,000 points. And mm -hmm. when we see how it adds up, so I don't think there was a speed kill on Masakato. I mean, I think you had to kill all the mages and focus on him. Yeah, so. he doesn't give you a uh, 100k bonus, though, does he, in, um, in, in NGO4, so that's why, like, there's not a big difference on him, really. But again, look at the time, a minute and 30 seconds to get almost the same points. Mm -hmm. You know, that just, again, that shows the speed and the efficiency and my lack of speed and efficiency my whole <laughs> age. So, same thing here. Now, I will say the difference is 31,000. This is where JTB playing for Karma, you know, with the fire wheels and... You know, the, the ways that he was fighting it versus me when I played Dynamo, I was showing, hey, you know, you can flying swallow through him. You can do this. You can do that. So that's part of that discrepancy. But again, a minute and 40 seconds almost to kill the same amount of enemies. I did yeah. score more essence than you did, though, but take that. I'm trying, to, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm trying to think what I would have bought in that chapter. Maybe Devil Elixirs? Because um, I always try and get my essence like as close to 2,000 as possible. Right, right. And see, I kind of had the mindset I didn't care. But this it was very interesting and very embarrassing, to be honest with you, going through here and looking at this. I mean, I can try to explain it off saying we were doing to two totally different things. Now, of course, he had an extra Nympho slot that I didn't have. Uh, which, you know, helped. He had the arm. He had all the armlets. You know, fortune event that I didn't oh, have. Yeah. So again, that's there a, are some that's a differences. huge advantage. Yeah. Do what? What were we saying? Say so that's a huge advantage having the armlets and that. But again, here's uh, thirty more kills in less time. So again, I probably spent more time saving than killing. You know, saving my ass <laughs> where you were going out in the trenches and kicking ass. So. It's, but I'm already after four chapters, over a hundred thousand points behind. But the sick part about this is, is it's fixing to get a lot worse these next three chapters. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's really hard to like get make up points in this because like the discrepancy, like a hundred thousand points in like NGO four karma is a lot. Like it, you whereas like a hundred k in NGB is not that much really. It's that's twenty UTs. Well, look um, at this one. I mean, you killed, what, 60 more guys than I did mm -hmm. and scored 211,000 points. Now, I think I went and watched the first part of the video, but again, yeah. I'm still focusing on essence. You're focusing on killing. So I kind of killed the, the first two guys or the first set of guys twice, whereas you killed them three times. And you yeah. were kind of focused on ETs and killing where I was focused on UTs. But yeah. you did, what, 41 fights in a row? I think it's 41, yeah. Yeah, so he did that. I didn't do, you know, I didn't fight that many uh, in a row. Because, again, my goal wasn't to play that way. But it's still sad to see how far <laughs> behind. I mean, again, look at Chapter 6. In Chapter 6, I tried my best. I actually had to go back and replay it. This was with upgrading the flails. So... I mean, 40, 47 more kills and 200,000 points. Mm. Man, I, need I can't to... even remember what I did in Chapter 6, honestly. Um... Well, you kicked ass, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I need to retire whenever I see these numbers. It's like I try to reason it off in my head saying, again, he's going for a karma run, so his mindset is totally different. But 203,000 points, I mean, that's a lot of points whenever I was trying to do my best. To just make the, now again, my best was just to try to make the time limit because I think the time limit was forty-one minutes. Yeah, you know it's. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm running the times real close. I mean, chapter five, I think I make it with literally two seconds, right? I get yeah. eighteen fifty-seven. Yeah, something like that. I can't see yeah. it, but even in chapter seven, you know, how do you you kill fifty more enemies than I do in less time? I, I'd have to check the video to see what I did. I, yeah, my memory is so... You were able so... to go back up, and you were able to fight a lot more fights. Either that, or you yeah. run and run to those trainers. I just thought of that. My my memory is just not very good. Uh, th this is great. When when I get older, like, it's going to be... I'm just going to be like that one old guy that doesn't remember how to do, like, the Azuna drop. 
Oh. And there'll be there'll be there'll be like documentaries. It's like this, like this guy when he was young he was so good, and then age got to him. <laughs> it just went. To hey, shit. well, I'm feeling it right now. I'm telling you, it's uh, it sucks, man. Just seeing the reflexes go, and then when you put it in perspective of something like this, you know, seven hundred and fifty thousand points. I'm already down after chapter seven. You know, fifty more kills, and that's something that I encourage everybody to do. You know, maybe pick one of these chapters, five, six, or seven. Watch what he does. Watch what I do. And, you know, maybe learn how to, to fight better or, or say, you know, not use the saves. I will say... I think the saves are a big part. Like, I think that's yeah. that's kind of the big difference maker on a lot, especially on NGO4. If you are going to go for a karma run where you place emphasis on the chapter time limit. Like, I suppose if, if we were going to calm run this back in the day, that would probably be the two categories. It'd be, like, going for the time limits and not going for them. Having the kind of... I, I guess it's just confidence at the end of the day to think, right, I've got 8 or 10 or 10, 20 or whatever. I've got X amount of fights in a row. You know, ca- like, how's your kind of assurance of going into that actually being being able to do that many fights you know in a row like that's kind of what it boils down to yeah that 41 in in chapter five i just don't know if i could do it or not but here i mean you killed more enemies in three minutes less time but again i'm saving more because that's my mindset i just feel like i keep making an excuse for how bad I'm getting my ass kicked on this stuff, but it, it is a total different mindset. He's playing to do that. I'm not, but yeah, I kind of wish I hadn't have done this now. <laughs> Everybody gets a chance to see it. You know, the sad part about it is, is he has more times. I mean, look at that three minutes and 57 kills, you know, in chapter nine. I think that, yeah, that would have been UF farming for sure. Um, but yeah, I wish my memory was better. <laughs> I should have watched my videos before we did this one. Well, yeah, and, um, and again, that's something I, you know, I welcome anybody to do. I mean, I might actually go back and watch some of these too and see the differences and then also hear what we're talking about in that chapter. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, we might bring up something that you were doing that I wasn't doing at the time either that we just don't remember when we're coming into this. So chapter 10, I think, uh, I mean, I'm pretty happy that I'm only... 53,000 behind in this chapter Mm -hmm. and even though I you know killed way less enemies I think uh it might have been a different pattern I think I might have done some kind of pattern a little bit different than what you had done and I think I definitely did the pill bugs again from what I remember well this is chapter 10 so it it's the mm-hmm. first time you do them in chapter two. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah they wouldn't respond with that. Uh, um, it might have been, a, like I said, just a different pattern that led to. I mean, I, I, I really don't know what it could be. Where you might have fought a few fights down a little bit less. Uh, I mean, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, that's why we get to go back and watch them. That's the reason they're on video for us to go back and see. But yeah. So after those other chapters, to be in chapter... When I said, oh my God, what's my chapter 10 going to be like if I'm that bad to everybody else? And then chapter 11, I know for sure we did different patterns on that. Yeah, we did, yeah. And... uh, (laughs) Look at my clear time. (laughs) Yeah, to two, to two. (laughs) Love saying that. Love saying that. But maybe that's where you had to do 50... Because you didn't have a chance to go to Maramasa where I did. Yeah, that's why my essence is high on that yeah, chapter. Yeah, yeah. But you really weren't too worried about that at the. I mean, at the time, because you knew you were so low at the beginning. Because see, look yeah, at my essence. I was just There's another ten thousand the right there. I mean, mm-hmm. some of these chapters I wasn't even looking at it to see if I got my essence bonus. But you know, here's one now that I'm noticing it that I didn't. So again, there's ten thousand where you were able to manage it a lot better. And you know, I might have just bought some stuff at the beginning of the chapter thinking that uh, you know I would make up the essence and I didn't and I said well I'm not going to go back and replay that so actually I finally beat you on one chapter again this is different patterns I think mm-hmm. you went through the stadium and I went back through the water yeah. to do something different so I actually did hooray for Big Alski you know, I've, even after all that I've only beat him by 26,000 points but <laughs> After being crushed through the game, I'll take a little bit of, you know, uh, happiness 
that I did was able to kind of sort of maybe beat you. And then again, if you'd probably done my pattern because, you know, uh, because of the different enemies and the respawning mm -hmm. enemies, the way I fought them, you probably would have crushed me by 150,000 or something like that. What's the time limit in that chapter? Is it 47? Yeah, I think it's pretty close. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that's, uh, that was one where I barely missed the, the time limit because I was loading up my, uh, Dobby and putting in my mm -hmm. uh, life of a thousand gods and all that stuff. <clears throat> so now this one is uh, the chat it's skewed because I went over the time limit, kind of showing that example that if you are going to go over a chapter time limit, this is the chapter to do it because of the Beatles. Yeah. So I actually went over. I think I, uh, I think we might have did a little bit different pattern on this one as well, but. This is where I think I got really close to maxing out my acid, so I ended up hurting myself later on. But finding different patterns, again, if you're going for the the chapter times, you know, I think is crucial because as you can see, it makes not only is you know your fighting ability, but you know, your fighting ability on certain patterns of you know mm -hmm. certain ways to go adds up to a lot of points. Man, it's depressing. But hey, at least I at least I never hit a million. I got really close. I was like nine ninety one <laughs> or something like that. And then chapter fourteen, uh, yeah, I maxed out my essence here, so I'm not going to get an essence bonus. But as you can see, even though I beat him, it's just because he didn't go back through and fight some of the ghost fish fights. You yeah, had I think plenty I, of time I to really, do that. Yeah, I did, and I I just I hate chapter fourteen, so I was right. just kind of happy to get it out of the way. Well, I appreciate it because it. You know, I whipped your butt by 34,000 <laughs> points. <laughs> I got to talk a little smack because, you know, it, it's it's funny. Because at that point, there really wasn't any difference of what we needed to do and patterns and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It was just go through this. And yeah. I actually, I think the time limit was 17 minutes. So we could have, I could have gone through it, you know, a few more times too. But because you only had that one save statue... It's like, you know what, I'm not going to mess with it. But if there was that other safe statue, I'm sure both of us would have gone back and refought everything. Yeah. So on chapter 15, um, he beat me by 650 points. Again, my essence, I didn't get an essence bonus because I maxed out in chapter 14. I think, again, my pattern, I went all the way through chapter 14 again before I took on the core and JTB actually went down through town. So he had, even though he had more enemies to kill with the zombie, I mean, not the zombies, the, uh, what are they called? The little soldier guys. Oh, the commando fiends. Yeah. The little commando fiends. Uh, even though he could kill them multiple times more than I could with my ghost fish, you know, the ghost fish were just worth a lot more points. So again, that's mm -hmm. one of those things that was, I think a difference in the pattern. Plus, he had the level one in Azuma where I had the level two. So I was actually ahead of him in points before the final form. And then after the final form, that's what made the difference to where we kind of equaled out. So yeah, you'll, uh, if y'all watch the chapter 15 video, you'll hear our thoughts on, you know, when to, or the level two and uh, level two in Azuma versus the level one. Uh, I think level two is better overall. And then finally, this is chapter 16. Uh, I went through it and just did the flying swallow on Mirai to just show that you could do that in Ninja Gaiden where you couldn't do it in Ninja Gaiden Black. Whereas JTB, I believe, used the low health UF. And so, yeah, yeah, I would have done. Yeah. So just the difference in that, it was, uh, you know, 5,000 points. So overall, uh, 867,000 kind of disgusting but we haven't ever done it before and it shows how fast playing for speed knowing how to fight the enemies your movement all that adds up so that's it for that one i did want to show end off on this part here real quick uh, jtb and i and shelly got a chance to do some white water rafting in montana so there was our names that we signed on the bus and there we are holding our paddles for in for Ninja Gaiden Black or Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden 2, not Ninja Gaiden 3, but 
No. No. The original no, Ninja Gaiden. A <laughs> game doesn't exist. <laughs> so again, hope everybody enjoyed that. It was something a little bit different. Uh, it's embarrassing <laughs> to put that out, but hey, at the end of the day, that's the reason he's JTB and he's awesome and one of the world's best. And I make good blooper videos. So <laughs> <laughs> that's it for Ninja Gaiden 2004. It was, it was a lot of fun to do. Uh, well, that's it for now. Uh, it might be some more stuff coming. Yeah. You never yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. We, we've really gotten back into it, so we've enjoyed it. But look, <laughs> hope everybody enjoyed the series. Again, any comments, suggestions, anything y'all want, just leave us a message and we'll try to you know address those issues. Okay, everyone. Take care. We enjoyed it. See you in the next series. Take care, guys.